Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Gavin Lon Digital. I'm Gavin Lon. So in the previous part of this course, i.e. part 19, we implemented a facility whereby an administrator can match users to their relevant courses due to the asynchronous manner in which our code is executed. When an administrator saves the administrator's input to the system, the administrator is not explicitly made aware of the success of the administrator's save action. Currently, if an unhandled exception occurs, then an alert is presented to the user, but when the save operation is successful, currently nothing happens. This is not great in terms of user experience. So to enhance the user's experience in this regard, let's implement code that displays a progress bar to the administrator once the user clicks the save button. And then if the operation is successful, a success alert is presented to the user for a set period of time and then automatically disappears. For content like this and much more, please consider subscribing. And please ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, I've included a link to my Buy Me A Coffee webpage below in the description. It will be greatly appreciated. So let's open our user category index view. In the interests of time, I've copied the relevant HTML and bootstrap code for the progress bar and alert to my clipboard. So I'm going to paste this code close to the bottom of the user category index razor view here. If you'd like to read more about the bootstrap aspect of this code, I've included relevant links below in the description under the additional information section. So we want our progress bar and alert to be prominent when displayed to the user. So let's address this by providing additional layout functionality. We are going to implement this using CSS. So let's open the site.css file this file is referenced from the layout views within our Visual Studio project. In the interests of time, I have already copied the relevant CSS code to my clipboard, so I'm going to paste this code into the site.css file here, and then save the changes. So we have addressed the look and layout of our status-related UI elements, i.e. the progress bar and the alert that will be presented to the user when the user clicks the Save button. Now we need to create the functionality for displaying the progress bar and alert to the user at appropriate points in time. Let's do this by adding appropriate jQuery code to our users to categoryjs file. So firstly, when the user clicks the Save button, we want the relevant controls disabled while the save operation is being processed. So within the click event handler function that handles the click event on the save button, let's write code to disable the checkboxes, the save button, and the select dropdown list. Then let's write code to display our progress bar to the user. Then within the callback function assigned to the success property of the object passed as an argument to jQuery's AJAX method, let's write code to hide the progress bar. When the progress bar disappears, we want to display an alert to the administrator, informing the administrator that the administrator's save operation was successful. So we can write code to hide the progress bar like this. 
In order to display the relevant alert to the user appropriately after the progress bar hide event occurs, we can pass a function to the hide method like this to appropriately handle what happens immediately after the hide event occurs. Within this function, we can implement the alert functionality. We want the alert to display for a set amount of time and then slide up to disappear. So we can achieve the desired functionality through this code. Note the numeric arguments passed to the fade to and slide up methods are time-related arguments and can of course be appropriately tweaked by the developer. After the slide up method is executed, we want the checkboxes, the save button, and the select dropdown list to be enabled. So we can achieve this by passing a function to the slide up method like this. Within this callback function, we can write code to enable the checkboxes, the save button, and the select dropdown list. We also want to enable the checkboxes, the save button, and the select dropdown list after an exception occurs. Let's test the code. Great. So just to highlight the benefit of presenting this sort of status information to the user during potentially time-consuming operations, I'm going to add a two-second delay to the relevant server-side code, like this. And let's test the code. Great. Let's remove the code that creates the two second delay on the server side. One small item I forgot to add in the previous tutorial is a heading within our users category index view. So let's add the appropriate heading to the users category index view. In the interests of time, I've copied the relevant code to my clipboard. So I'm going to paste the relevant code near the top of the file here. Great. Let's tidy up our code a bit in the userscategory.js file by making the code that enables and disables the relevant controls reusable. So let's create a JavaScript function named disableController at an appropriate line in our userscategory.js file. This function accepts one argument that will either have a value of true or false. So if the value of the argument is true, the relevant controls will be disabled. If the value of the argument is false, the relevant controls will be enabled. So let's replace the code that enables and disables the relevant controls with our reusable disable controls method.
If an unhandled exception occurs, we want code to execute that will hide the progress bar. And of course, we only want the relevant exception related code to execute once the progress bar has faded out. So this exception related code needs to execute within a callback function that is called immediately after the hide method has finished executing. Excellent. We have now completed the UX functionality whereby an administrator receives appropriate progress and status updates during the save operation for the user category functionality. For content like this and much more, please consider subscribing and please ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, I've included a link to my Buy Me A Coffee webpage below in the description. It will be greatly appreciated. I really enjoy reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. The latest code can be found on GitHub. I've included a link to the relevant repository below in the description. Thank you and take care.